Hi everyone, in this video I'll be sharing with you what a WAP is. We'll talk about the challenges with securing web application and APIs. And we'll talk through the benefits gained when implementing a proper WAP solution. So first off, let's define a WAP. You may have actually seen a previous DevCentral Lightboard lesson for what is a WAF. Well, WAP is the evolution of a WAF. WAP, spelled W-A-A-P, stands for Web Application and API Protection. Although it does cover a couple other things as well. Now it is similar to a WAF in that there are layer seven protections for web app attacks and things like layer seven denial of service. And these are attacks that aren't covered by a standard network firewall. These are attacks that are happening at layer seven, the application layer. A great place to start learning about application layer attacks is by looking through the OWASP top 10. The OWASP project points out the top web application risks that the industry should be aware of. A WAF can also provide layer four protections and enforce compliancy with protocols. Now where the definition of WAP starts to differ is the added API protection. Over the last few years, the use of APIs has grown exponentially as most mobile applications make use of APIs as well as server-to-server -server communication. In fact, it's estimated that over 80% of the internet traffic today is API. Now, APIs require protections too. In fact, OWASP has a top 10 just for APIs. And as this is the entry point for application access, then it's also going to be an entry point for attackers too. And lastly, WAP solutions are where you'll find bot mitigation as well. Non-human traffic makes up a majority of the internet today, and this is the type of traffic that carries out a lot of the malicious behavior on the internet. Now let's talk about some of the challenges you encounter when securing your web apps and APIs. First challenge is simply the awareness of APIs in your environment. The proliferation of APIs is exponential, broadly on the internet, but especially in your own environment. So many apps and devices just come with APIs enabled. You can easily end up exposing a lot more access to APIs than you thought. There's also a varying degree of documentation provided around API endpoints. Too often there are APIs that the original developers have even forgotten themselves that were created, let alone taking the time to document them for the customer using the product. Another challenge comes around the implementation of business logic. Let's say you have an application that needs to follow some rules, perhaps an API that should only accept certain value parameters and only at a certain rate and only for certain clients. Where you implement this logic needs to be thought out. If you don't properly plan this and there is ways to access the API that bypasses all logic, then the API is essentially completely exposed and exploitable. Another challenge is volumetric attacks, not just in a sense of denial of service to render your application useless, but in a sense that your logs can fill up with distracting messages while a more directed attack occurs and goes undetected. It can take a long time to discover that attack, if it could be seen at all, through the mess of logs. Or you have scenarios where your compute resources are driven up through high computational transactions on purpose. If you have dynamic resource scaling, that will also increase your bill then you may be in for a shock at the end of the month. Or if you don't have dynamic resource scaling, then your resources may simply be consumed and then you're taken offline. And lastly, being able to manage security during this rapid adoption of cloud becomes a challenge. And I say that because apps end up anywhere and everywhere. And the apps come in multiple form factors, whether monolithic or modern microservice-based architectures. Being able to enforce policies consistently becomes an obvious challenge. Being able to manage potentially multiple vendor solutions for security is a challenge. You'll have multiple dashboards and control panels to look after. And where this can get tricky is that you need the most important information to be brought up. Yet with multiple places to look, it will be difficult to know what's most important. Additionally, you'll end up either having your staff in perpetual training, trying to keep up with knowledge, or conversely, you'll end up falling behind and lack the skill set to properly manage your fleet of security tools. And that's even if you have enough staff. You might not even be so lucky and you run short on staff, worsening the issue. So now let's talk about using WAP as a solution for securing web applications and APIs. The first thing an effective WAP solution is going to be able to provide is around application and API awareness. And what I meant by application awareness is that depending on the application stack being used, a WAP solution is gonna be able to tailor its protections around the application stack. This includes the web server technology, the application server, the database used. This granular awareness ensures that threats that are specific to any of these technologies can be addressed as they come up. And then what I meant by API awareness is not only knowing the technologies involved, but also discovering the API endpoints themselves. 
As I mentioned previously, there is an industry-wide issue around undocumented APIs. So having a WAP solution that can discover all of the APIs being used will allow for policy creation that can enforce constraints on the APIs. Another way a WAP solution helps is through managed rule sets and policy layering. With a managed rule set, you can rest assured that the appropriate protections will be in place for the appropriate web applications or API technologies as the rule set is taken care of by security experts. In addition to that, policy layering allows you to divide and conquer your security. On one hand, you can have broader policies that can be deployed across all the applications in your estate. Maybe this is a policy that is set by the global security team. And then app-specific teams can look after a more granular policy that is applied just to their microservice. And there are some specific advantages when it comes to a cloud-based WAP offering, such as F5 Distributed Cloud WAP. First is in the architecture. You get a high-speed global fabric that is unattainable by most organizations. The platform is totally managed. Global availability is taken care of. Upgrades are taken care of, as well as any of the administration of the underlying infrastructure. All that's left is taking care of the security, and even that can be offloaded as a managed service. And finally, a unified managed platform will offer full security visibility of the traffic from client to application. You can observe all the attacks that are blocked, what type they are, when they're occurring, and where they're coming from. So hope this clarifies what a WAP is. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, be sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.